Now you'll pay. Bear in mind that this is no common case. Your future depends on your sentence. <laughs> Thank you, Duvoyer. Thank you. I'm way calmer now. I'm gonna take this with the calmness needed. By the way, I only get to ask you half the question. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to We The Revolution. This is episode 9, I believe, or 10. I think it's 9. And in the last episode, we have we have made an enemy, we're pretty sure. We now have an um, enemy in Parliament. Well, not in Parliament, on the world map, better to say. And also, we have someone who's trying to uh, get rid of us, the guy who's uh, working for the king. So we have made quite a few enemies. We've also unlocked the aristocrats. So we now have to take care of a additional group here, the aristocrats. And um, yeah, <laughs> everyone wants the death penalty in this case, except for the aristocrats. If we look through it, if we go for the death penalty, we see we probably equal out. I think this plus this equals this approximately, maybe minus plus one. If we go for prison, we lose quite a bit of influence. And if we go for acquittal, we also lose quite a bit of influence. I think less than with pr prison, but still, um, there is quite a lot there. So the aristocrats really want this person. I assume it's one of theirs. Let's look in our notebook real quick. We do have good relations with our family. We actually have outstanding relations with them, but we did lose some reputation because of what happened on the world map because we screwed that up so majorly. Uh, it also cost us even more love with the revolutionaries who are already not our biggest fans and the aristocrats also aren't our biggest fans. Um, so yeah, that's problems here. Poor papa, le invité, yay! Beautiful. And... Yeah, we've almost, we sent almost everyone to prison so far. Interesting. <laughs> you see where I stand. Let's have a quick look over this. Wait, Marie Antoinette and the dog. We have someone who's accused of treason, advocating monarchy, pedophilia, and financial fraud. In the dog sits the wife of the convicted and executed citizen Louis Capet, Marie Antoinette. Okay, so it's the former queen. It's the wife of the former king. Okay. Um, Citizen Louis Capet, Marie Antoinette, a 38-year-old Austrian who came to France at the age of 14 to wed the 16-year-old Louis. Their marriage was political. It was supposed to tighten the alliance between Austria and France. Both Marie Antoinette and her late husband lacked the experience and knowledge required to rule the country. Their incompetence resulted in France being left in debt and the French in hunger and poverty. The former queen and her husband were incapable of restraining themselves from their prolific profligate lifestyle, I'm sorry, even when the price of bread became unapproachable for the common citizen, Marie Antoinette and Louis Capet tried to escape from the Tuileries Palace, uh, where the Capets had been confined by the revolutionaries. The two intended to return to France with neighboring army armies, but they were caught before they could cross the border. Louis and Marie Antoinette were able to avoid lynching upon their arrival due to Antoine Bernays protection. The a uh, famous orator interceded on their behalf, which made him a suspect, and it's thought that Marie Antoinette had snared him so as to use him for a political agenda. For many years, Marie Antoinette has been accused of acting against France's best interest, plunging the state's budget into a deep deficit, plotting against the revolution and trying to rebuild the monarchy. The failures of France against Austria can be attributed to her treason. We suspect that she conveyed French military secrets to her homeland, but we lack evidence to support this claim. The citizen is also accused of promiscuity. Moreover, there have been suggestions that she sexually harassed her eight-year-old son, Louis Charles. Uh, there's quite a bit to, to unpack here, isn't there? Um, about, about the big lifestyle, that is, that is something that's always brought up when it comes to it, and that's probably true, like, Absolutism obviously led to a very, a very um, extravagant lifestyle on the aristocrat side, and she's quoted with the famous quote, uh, which probably is a lie made after the fact, but still, she's always quoted with um, when she was told, um, "Lady, the peasants don't have bread to eat." She would say, "Well, then let them eat cake," because she was so deranged, so um, away from reality. Anyway. And so this probably is true. We do know she tried to escape. We hang, hung her husband for it. I execute, it actually, we didn't hang him. We guillotined him. Um, well, we know this part is true, though we don't know about the ensnaring part. Uh, obviously, she was trying to rebuild the monarchy. She's the queen. It would be weird if she didn't. 
Um, respect the, we don't know if she gave any military secrets to Homelander. I honestly don't think that the Queen was given any military secrets. That would be weird to discuss military strategy with the Queen. And the sexual allegations... You don't know. I, I, I don't know. But probably it's from the people that hate her. That they just... Like, you know how they shit talk then, anyway. Alright, uh, let's make some links here. And the Queen's promiscuity. It's a personality? Or an accusation? Uh, personality? Okay. Military secrets. That is an uh, accusation. Or counter-revolution. Okay. The restoration of the monarchy. That is the motive. No. That's an accusation. No. And it's counter-revolution. Oh my god, I'm doing terrible here. And John Barrave. I don't actually know. The Capes escape. In my opinion, that's a motive. <laughs> to me, that is a motive. But in this game, it might be a, an accusation. I wouldn't even be. Con I will find it weird if it's considered a personality. The young Capet, she's accused of molesting him, right? But her motive was molesting him, if it's true. You know what I mean? This makes no sense. I'm sorry, this is just stupid. Profligate lifestyle. That's an accusation, right? But it's also her personality. And it could also be considered the motive. To keep that lifestyle. You know what I mean, people? You know what I mean? Ah. <sighs> Well, I screwed it up. We don't have all the questions. I'm sorry, guys. I, I screwed this up. But, but you've been there. Be honest. Be honest and tell me that in your head this made sense. Any of these. Be honest. Now you'll pay. Bear in mind that this is no common case. Your future depends on your sentence. <laughs> Thank you, Devoyer. Thank you. I'm way calmer now. I'm gonna take this with the calmness needed. By the way, I only get to ask you half the questions. Please introduce yourself. Excuse me? I could interpret that question as contempt of court. Marie Antonia Josefana Joanna of von Österreich. Maria Antonia Josefana Johanna von Österreich. Also known as Marie Antoinette of Austria or Marie Antoinette. However, I would prefer to be called the Queen. I will use the term the accused. Why not you Austrian whore? <laughs> oh. You know how to catch the crowd. Oh, wow! <laughs> I stand no chance in this trial. Um, let's take you to yourself as an exemplary mother. I cannot answer that, and I do not wish to. You should ask my son. Before we do that, I would like to ask the defendant about the accusations regarding the indecent molestation of Louis Jal. No mother would dignify such atrocious accusations with a response. Son the witness, the son of the accused, Louis Jal. Please introduce yourself. My name is Louis Jal. Do you know how we have in why we have invited you here? No, why? Well, because we think you have been molested and also because we are probably going to kill you too. I'm actually not sure. I know that in reality Marie Antoinette was guillotined. I don't know about the child. I think he was also killed. I think he was also killed, but please do correct me there if that is incorrect information. Did your mother ever do something to you that felt wrong? <laughs> Such as things that would make you feel ashamed. Uh, mother liked to hug me in front of everyone. It embarrassed me. Did she often hug you? Very often, and sometimes she would even come to my chambers at night just to hug me. Did you feel embarrassed then? No, because nobody was watching. Did your mother mention to you the plan to escape to Austria and abolish the Republic? No, neither mother nor father would ever mention that. Was Mr. Barnave a frequent guest? Yes, I like Mr. Barnave very much. He's always very nice and brings me toys. Recently he bought me this wooden guard. Uh, were he and your mother doing anything you found strange? Mother once told me to respect him just like my father. Well, that is somewhat strange. <laughs> well, actually, we can stop. We could technically just stop asking and execute her. That would save my bacon. Unfortunately, I cannot answer these correctly. 
Um, that will destroy my reputation this trial. We'll ask both of these because we don't have more questions anyway. I must admit that you and Antoine Bonnet are much alike. Has the accused ever suspected that he helped you for his own profit? I never even considered such a thing. Antoine is a good person who wanted to help. I'm not one to judge him for his political views. The most important thing you shared was your hatred of France. Nonsense, I... Where to survive my bones while you were devouring meat? Um, basically, did you give out military secrets? What manner of secrets could I possibly know? Let's start with the strength and weaponry of the army. How would the queen know that? How often did the French queen in those times inspect the army, count the numbers, and go like, Oh, you're using the new 1799 rifle. Well, that is interesting. See, I always thought we were using the 1767. That is so old-fashioned. You know what I mean? Like, come on. She, she's a pampered princess living in a castle. What an absurd accusation. I could not even tell a mortar from a musket. Ah, so she does know military words. You do not have to know the difference to take notes and send them to other parties. And the queen, not a spy. She denies it, the whore. I think you're making this slightly too sexual. Okay, they are anxious. We don't have any more questions to ask. I'm so sorry, everybody. I screwed this up big time. But again, let me know in the comments because I feel like I did not have much of a chance here. Did she confess? Obviously not. Was that kind of yeah, sure. Um, how did the defendant waste her money? She spent it on her lovers, she gambled or she drank. Um, we didn't ask. She's not gonna say I spent it on my lovers. She'll probably say she drank away her si uh, sorrow. I'm assuming that that is the correct answer. What's the defendant's relationship with Barney? Their cousins, he was a lover, they were friends. I'm gonna go for the friends part because that's what she says, but... They probably really were lovers. They probably were doing it, doing it, they were do do doing it. But we have no information, we got to ask two questions to her and one to her son. So, you know, <laughs> with that being said, I think we have to execute her. This and this is both very bad for me. Not, like, everyone would hate me, including my family and the jury. We don't really have a say in this. It's the same as with a, with a husband. Um... Personally, I do believe that the counter of Lucian, Lucian is true. Um, because she did want to rebuild the monarchy, obviously. And she did try to escape, obviously. Which makes sense. It's still kind of true, though. Um, I don't know about the military secrets. I think that's ridiculous. I wouldn't know about this. The kid did say that she came to his chambers at night to hug him. That can be interpreted in a number of ways, and it's weird that I didn't get to ask more questions in that direction. Like, that can that can just be a mother coming over for a hug, but still, like, waking up the child in the middle of the night to give him a hug, that's already kind of weird. Um, especially in those times, because in that time, especially in royal families, like, they were not as close. So, that is kind of weird, but still, it doesn't mean that she necessarily sexually harassed him. Um... The big lifestyle is true, though I don't see how that is financial fraud. Because she technically had the money. It's a different question if she should have had it, but the fact that she was living large doesn't mean she was. But Of course she was advocating monarchy. I don't know. I don't really see treason. I don't really see advocating monarchy. I don't really see pedophilia and I don't really see financial fraud. This one is actually the closest I think we could find. Act advocating monarchy we can actually find. Obviously, she says the monarchy is a good thing as she still wants to be called the queen. Anyway, we have to execute her, I think, just from a gameplay perspective. We have to be careful with the aristocrats, though. We are d going pretty low here. But yeah, I think we have to do it. She was also executed in reality, which is technically a terrible um, plan. Because since she's the sister of the friend, uh, Austrian king, the Holy Roman Empire, um, we are obviously not making friends by doing this. We are not making many friends. We are going to guillotine her. The ancient regime should have been beheaded long ago. Huzzah! Justice is served at last. Okay, um... Then she gambled. I don't think she said I spent it on my lovers. Which probably was the correct answer. Um, yeah, we did make plus one in total here. We also gained some of our reputation back and an influence point. So that's good. We are very low with the aristocrats though. Uh, yeah. Let's go next.
We'll see the beheading now. I am going to hold a speech because I have a pretty high reputation and I think that helps with that. Um, because I still want to learn how to properly hold them. I think they will become more important in the future. And uh, I want to learn how to do that. Let's reveal this. No opinion withdrawn and detached. A crime. We're going to be super aggressive. She slept with children and she gave away the... So it's the defendant. Yeah, who is this queen even? Who cares about her? And the revolution. I think we need to be humble to... Oh, all of them were weak arguments. This is not going to be a good speech. Okay, let's think quickly about this. The crime, I'm going to say then... I'm gonna be humble about the crime. I'm gonna be aggressive about the defendant. And I'm gonna be manipulative about the revolution. There's a weak argument. Let's be manipulative about the crime. Anyone stepping outside the boundaries of the revolutionary law has only themselves to blame. Only themselves. We're then going to be aggressive about her. Murderers, traitors, deceivers, you will have to eliminate them. All innocent lives will be in danger. Oh, well, we are doing pretty well. And then we'll try manipulation on the last. Future generations will remember that we were not caught. It needs to be done. Frick. I was still okay. We got plus the real reputation. At least I didn't lose anything. Did I step on you? That was completely unintentional. All the revolution! Well, so far we only killed the king, his wife, and... Oh wow, she did... They did not enjoy this. They did... I thought the masses would be happy with this. Well, um, oh, daddy. All right, they all liked it actually. I think I'm gonna do the daddy thing again. Uh, we probably should construct the statue, but then they all like us less, and I would at least lose his influence. I think what I can do. Reading together, only he would dislike it. They all would like it. Um, the thing is. They are already maxed out, so I'm not gaining anything here, but I'm still losing his full. I don't think that's the best. I think doing this is better. He will lose some, she will lose some, but only a little bit, and they are maxed out, and he should max out from it. And then we can do other things next time. Probably work on the statue. I think that's not the worst idea. He loses more than her. She will only lose a little bit, if I remember correctly. Yeah, this is actually okay in my head. I think this is a decent way of... The family standing and I can keep the family like this and work on the statue or something. I hope. Did he? Okay, we got that. Enemy diplomat. Let's go here. We can kill the diplomat. Hopefully take over this region. This gives a ton of influence points. This gives some construction. Okay, this gives some influence points. I wish we could buy like defenses. Or more agents. That would probably really help. Um, exposing the minister's wife. Madame Roland is the true head of the family. She's incredibly ambitious and skillfully maneuvers her husband's career, pushing him onward to more prestigious positions. I doubt that the minister made a single important decision without discussing it with her first. The so-called political salon held by her turned out to be an exclusive brothel in disguise. We must attack, cut them off from their income, from their information. The wives of the convention deputies will learn the nature of the political saloon. The husbands tend to be frequent. Then they will force you to make sure Ron's brothel is closed down for good. Oh, I want Hen Henry's guards to turn her establishment upside down. This will surely find something and close the brothel. Now, I'm going to use public opinion here. Oh, that only has a 50% chance of success. Ooh, this is not going too well for us. Oh, he did well. Oh, no, I failed twice. I failed what we did overnight and I did fail at gathering support. Big time. If you watch that, if you watch that, that did not go well. Uh, how about you check out that place for me? He's doing so much better than me, though. He's doing so much better than me. 
Um, there's something new in the hierarchy. Okay. And Ambitious, though not overly a hard-working officer, he's gifted with an impeccable political sense that allows him to associate only with the people who are on the way to the very top. He knows exactly who is worth pursuing and who is best forgotten. Since the outburst of the revolution, he has steadily climbed the career ladder with the sights set on the position of commander of the guard. He's the one we are supporting, I believe. So, hey, the fact that he's on our side means... Uh, he can be trusted. Liberté. Alright guys, I'm gonna make a cut here. This also looks very good. He also looks like the kind of guy I want to be judging. Interestingly enough... Oh, it's my family that isn't here. We still have the three parts. And let's have a quick look here. Yeah, death would actually be positive. It would get this even lower, but it would almost max that out. Prison would be acceptable. It wouldn't kill us if we send him to prison. And acquittal. Acquittal would be a problem, though. It would be quite a bit on the aristocrat side, though. But it would be... Um, quite a minus for the common people. Okay, but this will be on the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'm going to see you the next time. Bye-bye.